red dots on a sporting shotgun. Bit of a controversial topic, as I found when I was posting this on Instagram and Facebook and places like that. I had some people who were very curious and they wanted to know, you know, what it was and where I got it and if it was any good and so on. And I had other people who were very much, why have you put that monstrosity on a fine shotgun? And, you know, I don't think it looks too bad. In fact, I think it looks quite cool in some ways. It's sort of a bit steampunky. It's not sort of like having a tactical vortex thing on it. It's just a, quite a subtle red dot. As you can see, illuminated by the fibre optic here. So this gathers light and that makes the red dot appear in there. We'll go into more, in, in more detail on that in a moment. But uh, in terms of using it, the basic premise is the fact that if you've got a gun, like, I hate to say it, this one, that doesn't fit you terribly well, and a big factor for a lot of people, especially for men, is that they can't get behind the rib. And what they really need is a raised rib, or they need the wood lowering here, which is what I probably need. But what this does is it just effectively raises the rib by an inch. So, you know, even if you're shouldering the gun like this, as long as your red dot is on the target as you're swinging through, then you should hit it, in theory. <laughs> As I said, it was a bit hit and miss. But, yeah, it's a great concept. And, you know, on the Pigeon Watch forums, people were like, some people were going mad for it, saying, oh, these have been banned on clay shoots because they're so effective. And then other people obviously saying, oh, you know, they're rubbish and waste of time. And then other people who were just like, it's, they're quite good, but they're not brilliant. They just sort of don't make much difference, really. So, yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking me to make this video for a while, ever since I started using it. So I thought it's about time. Um, so yeah, let's get this on the table. I'll show you how the best way to fit it on the gun from my experience is because there was a lot of a lot of people had problems with that. And yeah, let's just generally have a closer look. So to start with, in the box here, not very elaborate, you will get an Allen key. Now I thought I'd start this with the this, sight this on the gun only because it's on it already and I'm going to take it off, so <laughs> it makes it easier for me. But basically, here, here, here and here are like Allen key grub screws. And what they're going to do is they're going to sort of bite on to the, to the rib. As you can see, there's a red liner along here, and I'll come on to that in a minute, because what you don't want to do is try and clamp this straight to the rib of your shotgun, because A, it won't stay on, and B, it'll damage the rib, which, you know, isn't the best thing, really. So, as I said, if you just loosen these, it's a bit difficult to do this on camera, and the same on the other side, it'll come off. Now that is the basic thing. Get that in focus. Now as you can see, this bit here is just fibre optic. I'm not quite certain how it works, but <laughs> it feeds light and that'll give you the red dot. I don't know if you can really see that at the moment. Possibly not. Oh yeah, you can there, look. Just about. Now obviously if your head is right looking down the rib as it should be, the red dot is actually there and you can't see it. So it's quite handy because it's almost like a gauge. As your head rises up, the angle changes and it shows you how high it's going to shoot. So in principle, when you've normally got your shotgun shouldered and you're not shouldering it correctly and your head is um, too high and you're not looking directly down the rib, when you aim at something, the gun's going to shoot high because the, the barrel is basically like that rather than like that. But what this will do is this will show you with that red dot exactly how high it's going to go which is quite handy now I'll get this uh, gun out of the way and I'll show you this bit in, bit in a bit more detail now the first thing you'll notice is that I've got these and you might be wondering what they are and what I've got them for what it actually is is a piece of serial ATA cable which I've cut to the length of the sight and then I've cut it down the middle to make these buffers. 
that's really important. If you wonder what serial ATA cable is, it's basically just the cable that attaches your hard drive and your PC to your motherboard. You can pick them up for like pennies. I'll put a link in the description. They're, they're, not, they're not expensive. But what that'll do is, it'll mean that these, these grub screws, when you start tightening them onto the rib, they're obviously going to cut into the metal and damage the rib and not really grip it very well. In fact, m most of the time, for most shotguns, you're going to find that this is a bit too wide. So what you need is you need something that acts as a buffer. It can't be too soft because then it will just fall off, but it can't be too hard because then it will, um, whatever it is, if it's like, because some people are using like bits of old rulers and stuff, but that'll crack and that'll fall off. But what this is, the beauty of this is, it's got some give in it, but because it's made of metal, it's, it's quite sort of tough, but it will dent as it were, and it will, as the, the grub screws go in, it'll push a sort of dent into the rib enough to grip it on and if you do it tightly enough it will stay on quite quite reasonably so yeah it's fairly straightforward to fit if you know that if you don't as I said on the pigeon watch forums people did have a lot of problems with them but yeah if you, if, if you follow that you shouldn't have too many problems um, but in terms of whether it's worth it or not well that's what we're going to talk about next. So I guess the question is, do I think it's worth it? And I'm a bit indifferent, if I'm honest. Uh, on some shots, I, especially longer range shots, I found it very useful. But sometimes, not so much. The thing is, I've got a fit problem. So it depends how I shoulder the gun. And obviously if I'm instinctively shooting, and I shoulder it really well, that red dot isn't going to be much help, in fact it's going to be a hindrance because all I'm going to see is the very bottom of the red dot and it's actually going to get in the way. I'm not going to see the red dot itself and I'm not going to see down the rib properly. But if I don't mount it properly, it works really well. Which I suppose really indicates the problem. Because if you need a red dot, you've got a fit problem. Yeah, or maybe a mount problem, but probably a, probably a fit problem, maybe a bit of both, I don't know. But it's probably worth having a lesson, maybe having a gun adjusted maybe just getting a new gun altogether. That's probably what I should do. I keep saying that, but I never seem to get round to it. <laughs> but, yeah, there we are, really. But, yeah, in terms of can it fix the problem, yeah, yeah, definitely, you know, it's, it's a temporary measure. And, you know, you're only talking about, as I said, about 20 quid. I mean, the guy selling them in China, when this thread came up on Pigeon Watch, and it was like, it gets to the point of being like nearly 100 pages long, this, this thread in this forum, and all these people buying it. There must have been some guy on eBay in China going, wow, this is like you just suddenly made a fortune because of all these people buying them. And yeah, it's worth a punt, to be honest. For 20 quid, yeah, you can't, yeah, it's worth a go if you want to have, you know, if you want to try it. And certainly, you know, maybe if you were shooting slugs and things, it would be useful. The one thing that a lot of people have asked, which I found not really to be an issue, was the zeroing. Because in principle, even though it's a shotgun, you know, you should need to zero it. But what I found was, as long as when you fit it onto the rib, you fit it nice and straight, and it's flat as possible, it works perfectly, because the windage, the, the dot will be bang on in the centre of the rib. And, and the elevation, as I said, it's, it's just a question of perspective, because if you've got the gun shouldered correctly, you won't be able to see the red dot, it'll be completely flat with the rib. And then, literally, as you move up, the red dot appears and moves up with you. So, I don't really see it as a problem. I mean, I said in principle, and some people have mentioned this, you could adjust the grub screws, the tightness, on the left and on the right, and there's also is one that goes, which I, I should have shown you really, but there is one in the top that you can adjust to make it, in theory, go like this. But frankly, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it is. Um, you know, I just whack it on the gun, any old how, and if I pattern test it, that red dot is bang on in the, in the centre of the pattern. The only thing I did have a problem with, which I should have mentioned, was I did have the odd pheasant where I missed because it was too close. And when it's that close, it is a problem because it's a bit like with a, you know, with my 243, and I was shooting on a 25 meter range um, the other day, and it was shooting low, which I found quite confusing because it normally shoots higher, closer ranges because you know, it's zeroed for like 200, 200 yards. And what it is is because physically the barrel is lower than the scope and so consequently if you're too close it doesn't matter what you do it's going to shoot low and um, 
with this, this is what was happening. Because even though I'm, you know, my, my mount might not be right and I'm adjusting for it, if the pheasant's too close, then you're going to shoot over it. And, you know, you might clip it, but you're not going get to it, get it bang in the middle of the pattern. So, you know, you really need to be shooting at targets at least 20 yards away, I think, for this to be effective, for that to be sort of negated as a problem. But other than that, yeah, give it a go. See what you think. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I know some of you guys have been asking for this video, so here it is. But anyway, keep watching.